Hey y'all, welcome back to Harmon Homestead Ranch. So this is day three incubating. This is when you tell if your eggs are fertile or not. If you're hatching chicken eggs, duck eggs, quail even, anything of that nature, when you're incubating eggs to hatch for your own, which so many people are doing this spring because of chicken shortage, egg shortage, this is what you need to do. So. I've got the Matacoop X300 incubator here. I've used multiple other ones. I've talked to you guys about that. And go back in our playlist. I've got a whole playlist on hatching and incubating. And I've shown you guys day three before, but I've got tinted eggs in here and regular eggs. And I'm gonna show you the difference. So let's start with day three. This is the first time you need to candle your eggs. This is my egg candler, Magic Fly. Can you see that? Magic fly. It's old, but it works great. This incubator has a candler built in. I don't use it. Okay, so I'm going to take the lid off, and I like to be quick with this. So, you've got two options here. You can lift the lid like that and pull an egg out, or you can take them all out and put them back in. I go back and forth. So, I'm going to see with you guys, I've not checked these, to see if these eggs are fertile. This is a silky egg. It's cream colored. That's fertile. Do you see there's like red veins by that X? See that? If you zoom in on the camera, that means it's fertile. So very good. If you see something like that and your egg, it's not a crack, but it means it's very thin. So I don't know how this chick's gonna fare. But if you turn it ever so slightly, you'll see veining, red veins, and it looks like a little spider. See them? That means it's fertile. Okay, so I'm going to lay my light down and put it back in. We're going to go through all of these together. That way you'll have a good idea on what to do. Here's another silky egg. That's fertile. See the little red lines? It looks like a spider. That is fertile. Very good. You also want to check for cracks in your eggs and you want to check the air cells. Let's do the next one, show you that. Each egg has an air cell. The chick will need it to survive. That is your egg air cell at the bottom, okay? Looks good. You don't want it floating in there like lava or bubbles. Now this one, yes, he is fertile. You can actually see better on the camera than I can with the bare eye. The reason you want to do this quick, I'll do two at the time here, is because eggs should not be out of humidity or temperature. You don't want a significant drop. They can shrink wrap inside. That's a very good one. That's fertile. That's fertile. So, so far, every silky egg is fertile. I think they all will be. Now, I get this question all of the time. People say, how many eggs should I hatch? If you're new to it, that's fertile. I would go with a few extra because you always have someone that doesn't hatch. Nine times out of 10, there'll be one egg, especially if you've bought hatching eggs. They're expensive, very expensive, especially online. He's fertile. See the little spider down here? That's fertile. So if under my palm. I would go I would do a few extra. Sometimes I've had a 100% hatch rate. Usually it's like 99%. One egg doesn't hatch, maybe two. You may get a run where it's all a bad batch. That happens, especially with shipped eggs. See the spider, very fertile. Let's do this one. And these cream colored eggs. Okay, that one. It's not fertile. Do you see the difference? I don't see any veins for some reason in that egg. I'm gonna lay them down. Oh, don't roll. I should have brought a towel over here. See the spider? Okay. Nothing. If they're expensive eggs, keep it in there a few days, it won't burst, it won't hurt. But I know with these, something just happened because my silkies are always just super fertile. So, something just happened with that egg. 
That's why I say put a few extra in there every time. Fertile. This is day three. You should see a heartbeat, I believe, by day seven. But I've shown you videos when you see a heartbeat. That's, yes. The little mound, the biggest part, is where the heart will be. But you're seeing the cardiovascular system of the, the chick beginning. Okay. And then when I run through these silkies real quick, we'll show you the two Moran eggs, two olive eggers, and two Americanas. Fertile, but I feel like we're gonna have trouble with that one. It may be okay, but it's it's small, but we'll see. Fertile, but hard to see. Very hard, that may end up being a blood ring. I've shown videos on that. You need to watch out for blood rings. That means that the egg, now those eggs will burst. That's a rotten egg. It means the chick died in embryo. So it, the embryo did not make it inside the egg. It was fertile, but it had demise. Very good. And that one is fertile. You can see some eggs are a lot more advanced than others. This egg here may have sat out on the counter too long. I'm not sure. Um, you know, the longer you wait with these eggs, the chance of viability goes down. That one's fertile, but it is it's hard to see to my eye. Okay, let's do this one. These little round silky eggs. Oh, definitely fertile. See the difference here? How advanced, and then see that one. It's like, uh, but that is, yeah. Okay, so there's all the silkies. We had one that we're not going to keep. Okay, let's start with the blue Americana eggs. I'm trying to do this quick for you guys. And this is hard to tell, okay? This is very hard to tell. I'm trying to see if I can see it, if you can on camera. I'm gonna have to wait a couple more days. I cannot tell. If you're unsure, leave it. People worry about eggs exploding in their incubator. The main thing you're gonna have to look out for is a blood ring. Those will. I've never had one explode in my incubator. Okay, he is fertile. Woohoo! so very good. The other one, you just could not see through the shell, but that I can see the veins right there. See it? It looks like two hockey sticks crossed or either a little tarantula. Okay, so that's good. That's very good. I've got one rooster to 20 hens in that pen, so I have no clue, so I'm letting those stay. The silkies, I know, there's like, I've got way too many roosters to hens. These are olive acres. This is a Moran rooster thrown over an Americana hen, and I can't tell anything. On that, you're pretty much gonna have to gauge air cell, or until you feel a chick moving, or you could weigh it to see if it's getting bigger. That's, that's gonna be hard, guys. Olive acres are extremely tough to see, but usually later on in the cycle, you can tell. Okay, so we know that we've got one out of that pen that's fertile. So with that Moran rooster over the blue egg, the Americana, it will be an olive egg, just like the green ones I showed you. Okay, Morans. These are actually not hard to tell. I think that's gonna be fertile, but we'll definitely know in a couple of days. Everybody worries about the dark egg. That's not your problem, it's those olive eggers because it's, it's a dark spray over a blue egg. That's what makes it green. And it is, those are terrible to tell. If you get worried, you can mark your air cell with a pencil or a marker and gauge if it's growing. That'll let you know. I'm gonna say yes, just because how the yolk's moving. If something's not fertile, it'll just spin and spin and spin. Yeah, I, I say he's fertile. Let me show you the, the infertile one one more time. And show you what I think you don't want. And I think if it's See, the yolk is just following me every which way, and it might be fertile. I tell you what, 
let's put a big old question mark on this one. I'm gonna get a Sharpie marker and we're gonna put it in there just in case. We're gonna give it every chance we can just to see because I wanna show you guys this as well and let's just follow it along. So I'm just gonna do a big question mark and throw it in here just to see and we'll check on it in a few days. It will not hurt a thing on earth. Okay, so guys, that's everything you need to know for day three incubating. That's what you need to do. And I just got these, my hands are dirty. <laughs> just about, my nails are. I just came back from uh, getting eggs. This is what one straight out of the coop looks like. And that is just, that couldn't, that was just chance. Okay, so I want you to see this egg. That right there is a displaced air cell. Do you notice how the rest of them were at the bottom? You want them at the bottom. If it's on the side like that, that's no good. That's probably the same hen that's laying the other one because I've got some older silky hens. If eggs are shipped, that will be floating all in the egg like lava bubbles. There'll be dozens of them. You don't want that. Nothing, a chick will not hatch through that. I've never seen one hatch. I've tried. I paid a hundred dollars for, um, Polish eggs one time to be sent, Polish chicken eggs, and it was, they were the candy corn. No, you can't, shipping will cause that. Sometimes just the way an egg comes out. Okay, so let's look at this one. I just got it out of that coop. Looks fine. So you just see nothing. That's an egg straight out of the coop. There's no nothing. So the first day or two incubating, that's what you'll see. Let me show you one of these eggs, like the Americana, the blue egg. That yolk is actually at the top, but see the air cell? They have to settle. That's where your air cell needs to be. Let me show you another one of the blue egg, the Americana. Same thing, see the air cell? That's where you want it, at the very base. So, that's some, here, let's do an olive egg. It's still hard to tell. Let's do a Moran, or Marin. So, yolks at the top. It's hard to see an air cell at the bottom of that, but these are all eggs out of the coop. That's the difference between that and what we just candled. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, let me know on here, and we'll go over it. I'm going to do day four. We're going to do this all the way till they hatch every day for you and me to look at this together if you have any questions. At this point in time, make sure your temp is regulated. I keep mine at 99.5. Make sure your eggs are turned at least three times a day. If you're not using an automatic turner, I would do five times a day. And your humidity, this is the most important thing. I don't care what they tell you. Do 45 to 55%, 45 to 55% from day one to day 18. And then at 18, we'll bump it up. All right, guys, we'll see you guys next time on Harmon Homestead.